One of the things we've been trying to figure out is where to put the cat litter box. It normally was in the guest room, but whenever we had guests over, we'd move it to our room. In the hallway was an unused cabinet that we figured would be a good place for the cat litter. So here's how I converted a cabinet into a cat litter closet to maximize the space in our house. I started by taking off the doors, giving it a good cleaning, and then applying a fresh coat of paint to the inside. I took some measurements of the opening and started working on a new cabinet door frame. I made a simple square frame out of 1x3. I'm going to use a sheet of clear acrylic as the main panel for the door. I set the fence on the table saw and cut a groove in the wood for the acrylic sheet. Since the ends of the longer pieces will be exposed, I did not cut the groove from end to end. I painted the wood ahead of time to avoid getting paint on the acrylic. While that was drying, I cut the acrylic down to size. I cut it so it would fit in the grooves on the sides, but so there would be a small gap at the top for ventilation. Everything was cut and now it was time to put it all together. I used a biscuit joiner to put the four boards together. I could have easily just glued the pieces together without biscuits, but I'm trying to get a good return of investment on the tool and use it in more projects. The glue up was a bit tricky. The grooves were pretty snug on the acrylic. I should have made a second pass on them to make them a bit wider. I already peeled off the protective film on the acrylic and I was trying to avoid getting any wood glue on the sheet. After some finagling, I got the frame together and clamped it until it was dry. I measured corner to corner to check that it was square. Once that was set, I could cut the entrance for the cat. I used a Dremel and a cutoff wheel to cut an opening big enough for him to pass through.
The cut left a rough edge. I sanded it smooth so he won't get scraped. The Dremel slipped a bit and left a small mark above the opening, so I just roughed up the acrylic around the opening to blend it in. Before mounting it, I had the customer test it out and see if he could comfortably pass through the opening. He was a bit hesitant and had to be bribed to test it out. won't go in. That's gonna be a problem. No, it won't. Watch, right here. Ready? Right there. There you go. After the inspection, I mounted the door and gave everything a good cleaning before moving the litter box in. Uh, hello, what are you doing? Wait, give me the treats. I gotta take a table. There's treats in here, it's all empty. Oh wait, there's one, no there's two. Let's go. Over the course of a few days, I noticed that the shape of the litter box was making it hard, so he had to zigzag around inside the cabinet. Gus didn't seem to mind, but the feng shui could be better. So I got a new box that was a bit bigger and could be put in the corner.
We like this new solution because the litter box has a designated spot and is out of the way. And Gus seems to like it and uses it without quarrel. So it's happy all around. Okay, that's it for now. See ya.